your local news leader. Just kind of dear to my heart to, to see it go. An old tree in Decatur is going to be chopped down. It'll make way for a new hotel parking lot. A neighbor nearby says he wants to save the tree. A developer says it's unfortunate, but it's got to go. WCNI3's Maggie Hockenberry with us now. Maggie, the neighbor says this tree could be more than 200 years old. Yes, Jennifer, he's talked with a friend who's a forestry expert. He estimates it's at least 200 years old, but it could be closer to 300. And he wants to find a way to work around it. From historical things, our house sat on 40 acres originally, so it was the original house in this area. Jeff Gibson has watched the Decatur area grow. He's lived there for years and seen dozens of businesses sprout up. I just hate to see a big tree like this go by the wayside. The tree is at least 150 years old and potentially 350 years old. This property will soon be a new hotel. And before the parking lot can be put in, this tree will have to go. I just would like to see it left. Uh, there's more value in the tree than there is in, you know, parking, as far as I'm concerned. Gibson has learned more about where the roots of the tree lie, and he says it's been through a lot. It's just uh, uh, one of them things that, you know, I'm not against progress, but uh, I hate to see a tree of such nature that's withstood numerous droughts, tornadoes, everything that this tree's been through, and uh, it's still here. He just wants to find a way to see it stay standing, but the developer, Steve Horby, says he's done all he can. Whenever I can save a tree, I always have, and that tree has really bothered me because it's such a beautiful tree. Horby says he's just adding to the hub of businesses. We feel like there's a need. The demographics seem really good for a hotel at that location. And he's tried to find a way to save it. I even redid the site plan to see if I could save it, and I couldn't. He understands people don't want to see it cut down, but he wants them to know that he's not taking them out of the community. I'm going to plant more trees. I'm really sorry to say that I have to take the tree down. Horby hopes to have the hotel done by the end of this year. He says he's checked, and this tree is not part of any historic registrar. Jennifer. All right, thank you, Maggie. And time for a quick check of today's Instant Connection poll. We want to know, should this 200-year-old tree be saved? Easy to participate. Go to our Facebook page right now, click on the link, and 71% uh, of you say yes. They want to see this tree saved. We're going to check back with the poll numbers throughout the hour. A flag